फेक न्यूज न्यूडिटी सिटीशन वॉयेंस सेक्शुअल अब्यूज अब्यूसिव लैंग्वेज ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर इजिली अवेलेबल ऑन सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म्स नाउ द गवर्नमेंट हैज़ अनाउंसड अ न्यू रूल्स फॉर सच प्लेटफॉर्म्स हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर प्रिया सिपाहा एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यू रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस ऑन सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड न्यूज़ वेबसाइट The Ministry of Electronic and Information Technologies has announced a guidelines and new rules for social media platforms, OTT platforms and news website. The rules will come in effect from the date of their publication in the gazette except for the additional due diligence for significant social media intermediaries which shall come in effect 3 months after publication of these rules now we are going to discuss about some of the important features of this particular rules the first key feature is there is a distinction between significant social media intermediary and regular social media intermediary now you have to understand the distinction between the two the meaning of significant social media platform is those platform which are having more than 50 lakh users some of the platform has been quoted by government they are youtube twitter facebook instagram and whatsapp now the thing which is important to be noted is facebook instagram and whatsapp these are the social media platform which is governed by a same and a single entity or a company Let's have a look on top social media platforms. YouTube is having 44 crores users. Twitter 1 crores and 75 lakhs users. Facebook with 41 crores users. WhatsApp with 53 crores and Instagram with 21 crores user. Now here as I already said that Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram are governed by the single and a one company. that's why it is necessary to keep a check on these type of bodies which are having almost a monopoly on social media platforms the next rule is related to ott platforms if we talk about india it is not at all possible to watch any series with family on ott platforms because these are the series which is full of abusive language nudity violence and many such things that's why as per rules on ott platforms also like there is a censorship in a movies here also it is needed for series and movies also that there must be a classification of 13 plus 16 plus and for adults the another thing which has been mentioned in the rule is there must be parental lock in such ott platforms although netflix is already using parental lock system but that should be used by the other ott platforms also and you have to look that means the regulating body has to look whether that particular thing is used is compliance in a proper manner or not the rules state that the ott platforms which have been regulating their content through various would be self classified the content into five aged based categories first is universal second is ua that is 7 plus then ua 13 plus then ua 16 plus and adult the concern online platforms would be required to implement parental lock for content classified as ua 13 plus or higher reliable age verification mechanism for content classified as a similarly for the publisher of news or digital media they will be required to observe norms of journalistic conduct of the press council of india and the program code under the cable television network regulation act thereby providing a level playing field between the offline that is print tv and digital media so there will be code of ethics for all social media platforms ott platforms and the news website and they have to follow all the code of conduct which is mentioned under this rule this particular code of conduct is for those ott platforms social media platforms and news website 
which are having their audience in India. Now, the Rules and Regulation Privacy Policy or User Agreement of the intermediary should inform the user of computer resource not to host, display, upload, modify, publish, transmit, store, update, or share any other information that is inter alia, obscene, pornographic, fidophilic, threatens the unity, integrity, defense, security, or sovereignty of India, friendly relation with foreign states or public order, or cause incitement to the commission of any cognizable offense, or prevents investigation of any offense, or is insulting any foreign state. There will be no publication of any information, any news which is fake, untrue or false in these social media platforms with an intention to mislead, to harass, to injury any company, any person, any agency for the financial gain or for the injury of any other person or company or agency. The next rule is very important is to track the originator of message. That means who is the first originator of that particular message which is not appropriate in any sense to be circulated in any of the social media. Now this is a, basically a habit of any person no matter it is me or any other person. If they think that this particular news is real we used to forward that news without taking a cognizance whether it is fake or it is a real news. So in this particular rule the agency has to find out that who is the first person who is originator of this particular message and then there will be some physical address also of that particular originator. It may be that person or maybe any agent. There are many messages which is related to political parties, related to religion and many more things which could spread violence or sedition or any other these type of things which is a clear injury on a person and a state. Then it may happen that the first originator is not a resident of India. It may be a resident of any other country who is spreading such type of news, such type of messages on WhatsApp or any other social media platforms to spread uneasiness, to spread violence, to spread sedition in country. It is also common to spread news or to make a fake account of any other person and it is also there that one person is having n number of um, uh, accounts on which they are spreading message just to trend some news which is not beneficial for the country. For these type of things it is stated in the rules that the social media company should make a mechanism to keep a check on these type of things. These mechanisms should be in favor of the complaints of the users if there is any fake account, if there is any fake messages or if there are n number of accounts or messages spread on the name of one person by the fake account of that person. So the first one must be chief compliance officer. That means he will be the person who will look after all the compliance related with the acts and rule. The next one is nodal contact person. His role is for 24 seven coordination with law enforcement agencies. The next one will be resident grievant officer who shall perform the function mentioned under grievance redressal mechanism. Now the important point is all these officers must be the resident of India. There will be three tier system. The first one is self-regulation by the applicable entity. The second one is self-regulation by the self-regulating bodies of the applicable entities. And the level three will be oversight mechanism by the central government. Now the government wants that the grievance redressal officer must give the decision of the grievances within the 15 days of the receiving of grievances. Now government also warns that there must be self-regulatory bodies of publisher. 
which should not contain more than six person and that particular body must be headed by any retired supreme court judge or high court judge or any other eminent personality this body will be registered by the ministry of information and broadcasting and the feature also includes that there must be solution of every grievances within the 15 days of complaint. It is also mentioned that the self-regulatory bodies, when they are disposing or when they are hearing any grievances or appeal, it is also needed that they will give some guidance to the basic social media platforms or any sort of print or digital media agency which is related to that particular grievances. Now these warning may be in a form of reprimanding that entity or censorship or admonishing. It may be of the requirement of any sort of apology which is needed by such type of entity. It is required for such type of entity to issue a warning card or disclaimer. They should also make a modification in the content similarly there must be a classification of the age and also for the access of such type of platform or such type of series or any other content which is available online there must be edit or synopsis of any relevant content it is also stated that there must be a formation of online grievance portal where anyone can register their grievances to the government directly. There must be establishment of governance portal also. It has been laid down that the concerned ministry shall establish an online grievance portal as a central repository for receiving and processing all grievances from the public in respect of code of ethics within three months of commencement of the rules. If a person is having grievances against any content published by an applicable entity, then the same may register its grievances on the grievance portal. The portal shall generate and issue an acknowledgement of the grievance at the benefit of the complaint within 24 hours of its registration and electronically direct the grievance to the applicable entity for addressing the grievance and also refer such grievance to the ministry and self-regulatory body for information and record. So that's all about the new rules related to social media platforms, OTT platforms and news website. Hope you like the video and if you like it, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. You may also follow us on various social media platforms by the name of Law Colloquy. We are having a page on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter and we are also having our website that is lawcolloquy.com and recently we have done our venture on podcast. So you may also stream and support us. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.